In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four torn paper infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've added four options where you can add the title, the detailed text, and then I've given a torn paper a kind of effect here where you can add your icon. And then here, if you have any details, you can further add it here. And I've added some shadow effect also. And for the, the second option, I've given some different color combinations. So likewise, third and fourth also different icons with different color combination and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel powerpoint university you can contribute to my channel through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to light gray background and then go to insert shapes select the rounded corner rectangle you can see here draw it this much size or depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease it and you can make it less curved by dragging this orange point you can see here outside and then shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can choose any uh, nice colors then i'm going to duplicate this press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to give some different color and later on we can change the color and exactly put it on the top of the first one all right now i'm going to add one oval shape go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape you can see here something like this right mouse click go to format shape i'll make it transparent so exactly we know how much we are adding that then shape outline make it no outline you can see here and then i'm just going to increase the size let me just you can see here this is very important way from where you are taking this one so you can see here i'm just going to take something from here something like this and how much down you need you can just take it down okay maybe this much size now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this shape hold the shift key and select this shape under format merge shape you can see here i'm just going to make it subtract so we end up getting a shape something like this you can see here i got a shape something like this now uh, we need to add one more shape where it looks like a, a paper torn or paper a turn effect now i'm going to select this and select the gradient fill i have used the same gradient fill which i have used for the background so you know it is not visible if something is visible you can just uh, reduce the size something like this you can see here i can just reduce it a little bit by holding the alt key if at all it is visible now it is not visible also now i'm going to insert shapes select the rounded corner rectangle again and i'm going to add it at the bottom you see here something like this again shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to make it transparent so exactly so make sure that it is touching here down do not make it something like this otherwise when you're cutting it will be a problem so i'm just going to touch exactly this one all right and then what i'm going to do depending on your requirement you can either increase or decrease so before that one what we need to do is i have to just select this i have to duplicate this one so press ctrl d to duplicate and let me just give some other color so that we can differentiate what exactly we are trying to do so maybe i'm just going to give this color or maybe a green color you can see here let me just make it transparent and bring this to front all right and again i'm just going to copy exactly here okay so that there should not be any see exactly on top of that one so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this shape hold the shift key select this one and under merge shape you can see here i can simply fragment it when i fragment it this part i can just delete this can you see here and again it has created two parts here can you see it has created two parts all right so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to select this both and merge shape and make it union and make as one shape and this one unwanted shape i'm going to delete it and then i'm just going to add it exactly here something like this all right and now let me just remove the transparency all right and then i'm going to give the gradient fill again gradient fill which how you want which direction you want you can just play according to the requirement okay so whichever way you feel better you can just add the this one gradient fill all right now 
if you want to give some shadow effect i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and shape fill make it black increase the transparency and again go to the effects soft edges increase the size you can see here and then just bring it here and then send this to back so like this you can give some uh, shadow effect now i'm going to edit the shape to give more uh, realistic look for that right mouse click and select the edit points you can see here there are points here so i'm just going to select this point right mouse click and delete this point okay and then i can select this just bring it down you can see here something like this you can do it just bring it down all right so likewise if you want you can again reduce the size increase the size so depending on your requirement you can adjust it so i can just move this aside and if you want to increase the shadow or decrease the shadow whichever way so like this you can just do the turn and if you want let me just reduce the shadow effect only here and let me just make it somewhat curve so something like this also you can do it so once this is done what you can do is you can just add the text here i'll just say step zero one or option or whatever you call it so then i'm going to choose a good font make it bold and the same color i'm going to use it and i'm going to put it here you can see here and you can add some detailed text here reduce the size maybe I'm going to give a gray color center align all right and if you have using the latest version you can just in add any icons I'm just going to choose some icons here so let me just choose some icon I'm going to choose this one insert hold the shift key and reduce the size and I'm going to place the icon here and then you can give the same color which we have used and then here you can add some more detailed text or option for example i'm just going to say option 01 all right then option 02 option 03 like this i'm then i'm going to make it some kind of a points here you can see here something like this you can do all right so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and then just add it here all right now if you want to add some more uh, shadow effect also that also can be done for example i can go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle and i'm going to select this one go to home same thing effect i'm going to choose it here you can see here i can increase the transparency more bend it something like that all right and then right mouse click edit point i can just bend it from here also something like this you can see here and then just go to format send to back so you have to just say don't say send to back yeah so now so this one like this you can see here if you want you can just further increase it so it looks something like this so i can delete this then with the help of uh, i mean with the shadow effect i can copy it Control d add this one here you can see here this is my second option Control d so depending on your requirement you can add as many options you want and then it's easy you can just choose any color of your choice like this you can choose and this also this could be the step two this will be the step three and the same color which i'm going to choose here you can see here the same color and this one will be kind of a purple all right and here also icons also you can just change the icon and again choose the same color what we have used there and if you want to change the icons you don't need to delete it and what you can do you can go to format graphic content from icons and you can just replace any icon with and then again change the color to the same color like this you can do it